Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we are on our way to creating a browser detection script. So in our last video we saw that if we load up, if we refresh our screen, we get a pop-up which basically gives us our user agent string. This is what the web browser is telling about ourselves to the website. Using this we're going to be able to detect are we on a mobile device or a desktop device and then serve the correct page. And we've got the pop-up happening right here, line 5. We're going to change this because instead of just simply popping up, we're going to put the contents of that string, that text, into a variable. So I wrote var space ua equals and then the rest, navigation.useragent with a capital A. So uh, a variable is basically a container. Think of a cup. It can hold any, any liquid. You just fill it. And that's what I've done here. I've created a brand new container, var. var is the command to create the container, the variable. The variable is called ua, which could be called anything you want, kitty cat, for example. And then I filled it with the equals symbol. I filled it with, um, with the navigator.useragent string. If we check our... If we make a pop-up again and just put ua, we'll get the same result, the same pop-up. Working, It's working so far. So what I actually want to do now is I want to test what is in the string, and if we find the right item, then we serve either the mobile version or the desktop version. That requires the if statement. Open curly brace, close curly brace. So I'm going to check if this happens, then do that. Basically, it checks that pretty easily. So we'll say if ua.match, open close parentheses. We're saying if we find a match for a certain bit of text in the user agent string, make it do something. So we'll say slash wow slash i. My user agent string, if you noticed a moment ago, it included a little line that said wow 64. So if the wows, if the wow text is found in my user agent, make it do something. And the something will be, we'll make it say alert. We'll make a pop-up happen, and then in quotes we'll make it say found wow. Refresh, we get a pop-up. So let's break it down. It found wow. It it checked the user agent string. It found the term wow. Technically it says wow 64, but our command by by having slash wow and then slash lowercase i, that means it doesn't matter if it was spelled wow 64 or wow 2 or wowzers, as long as it founds w o w, then the if became true then we make a pop-up. What we're actually looking for then, instead of matching wow, that's not specific enough, we want it to be slash iPhone slash i. So if we find the iPhone, let it go to the mobile version of the website. So we'll say location dot replace, open close parentheses, semicolon, and we're going to say, okay, instead of being on the desktop version of the site, replace it with the mobile version, in quotes. The mobile version is, sound, is found under mobile underscore website, just like we have on line 7, and then slash index.html. Now, we cannot test this because we don't have we're not visiting the site on a on an iPhone right so just to see if it's all working we're gonna put this back to slash wow slash I and because I've got the slash I the capitalization does not matter so I'm gonna ref I'm gonna save and refresh look at that when I refreshed the user agent uh, detector found that there was wow in the string and because that was true that we did find wow it then took us to the mobile version this is how we know at least the logic of it all is happening so that means if this were to say iPhone it would work 
well, we don't just want to target iPhone users. We want to target uh, Android and uh, Windows Phone users or BlackBerry or whoever else. So we'll say we need to check more than one thing now. So this might be a little tricky, but you want to add a parentheses around this whole UI match code. So be careful here. We should have two left parentheses and then three right parentheses because one pair of parentheses is for checking if it's an iPhone. The other pair is for that whole UA.match. UA and then the third pair is for the whole if. Between the last two parentheses, give yourself some space, and then we'll add the pipe character, which is shift backslash. It should be a vertical line. We need two of them, two pipe characters. And what this is saying is basically or. Check if this is true, or this, or this, or that. So again, we'll have open close parentheses, ua.match, open close parentheses. Inside of that parentheses, we'll say slash android slash i. So this is saying check if we find the iPhone or check if we find Android. If any of those are true, then we'll do line 7, which is take us to the mobile version of the site. And then we can keep adding more OR statements here to, to match the uh, Windows Phone, etc. It's also good practice to say, well, if we did not find any of the thing we're looking for, what, what else is there? So on line 8, after the curly brace, we'll say else. Open curly brace, close curly brace. This means if we were not finding any of the parameters in the first chunk, if all else fails, do the following. And just for our testing purposes, we'll say alert. And then in quotes, we'll say next time, visit on your mobile device. So we'll go back to... We'll run this again before anything happens, before any of the screen loads up, we get this pop-up next time, visit on your mobile device. And that's happening because first we've got, we check the user agent string, put it in the variable. Then we run some if commands. If we find anywhere in the user agent a mention of iPhone or Android, take us to the mobile device. Um, the screen. Or else that means we weren't on a mobile device and so have another pop-up appear that says next time visit on your mobile device. Once we've clicked OK on that, the rest of the desktop version loads up. For our testing purposes this works great, but in the real world this would be pretty annoying. So I'm going to deactivate this code. I know it works, I don't want to delete it, I might use it in the future. I want to deactivate it, so I'll go back to the start of the line and add two slashes with no space, and that deactivates the code. You should see it changes color. Save and run, and now it does not pop up anymore. The code is still there, but it's no longer active. And if we visit this site on a mobile device, it would automatically go to the mobile version. That's exactly what's happening in the in the version that I uh, gave you as an example, you can check this out right now, vmcampus.com slash sdce. When you go there on a desktop device, it pops up exactly what we've uh, done before. You click OK. If you go to this exact address on your mobile device, um, and I really recommend you do, so uh, pause the video and go to this address on your iPhone, Android, whatever, and then you'll see that automatically what happens is it goes to the mobile version of the site. So that basically ends our class. We've come a long way. We've um, created a project from scratch, we've used jQuery mobile, we've styled it, we've created a lot of content 
for it and if you would like to see any of my code to uh, try to strive toward it go to my address vmcampus.com slash stce and you can right click to view page source depending on your web browser it's something look up page source and that'll that'll show you all of my code you can also do that in the mobile version just right click view source check out how I did my my site maybe you'll learn a little extra secret thing here and there so thank you for taking the class and stay in touch